Hello, and welcome to this, which for those of you who are incapable of reading, I'm not sure how you got here, but this is Forged Alliance. Um, good stuff like that. I may as well ask it here as well. Um, yes, faffing, 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 faffing. Um, actually, before I ask that, as I've mentioned before, I do stream these, so if you are interested in watching it as I play, and talking and chatting and seeing what the heck I'm talking to, uh, you can go to my Twitch page and stuff like that. And watch me! Faff! Faffing will be done. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm thinking about it getting a webcam. I should have asked this the first time while recording, but whatever. Um, specifically a Logitech C310, and I was curious if there was any sort of interest in seeing my glorious face. Yeah, that's that would be the question in uh, question of the month, I guess year. That's probably like the only question I've ever asked. So now I can't remember who I did last time when I did this. I should probably ask chat uh, before I start this. In fact, let's just pose that as a question. Which one of these did I do? I think it was uh, UEF, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I could be mistaken. I am often mistaken. It was Cybrin last time? Well, there you go. Crap. <laughs> uh, someone pointed out that the, you, if you play Cybrin on the last mission, you actually get all three of the uh, nation's buildings because you have a UEF and an Aeon uh, sub-commander, which is pretty cool. Uh, but apparently I, I have already done Cybrin. Uh, it felt uh, similar or familiar when I was doing it the first time there, so whatever. Um, so I guess we'll do one of the others. Should we do UEF or Aeon? I was thinking of doing Aeon. I just like their experimentals. Um, hmm. UEF does pretty good on Miltdown and Mind Games, I think, though, so I'm not sure. I think I'll just do... Aeon. But we have to do this anyway, so let's just go ahead and start this crap. I don't know how the hell this happened, but those bastards found us. How dare They've they? They made planet fall, and are attacking Fort Clark and the outlying civilian centers. This is the end of the road for us, Commander. Fort Clark is our last base of operations, and all of our evacuation routes have been severed. If we falter today, the Seraphim and their lackeys will have free reign to butcher every last human in oh, the galaxy. No. We have no other choice but to dig in and hold the line. General Fletcher is already on planet and leading the defense of Fort Clark. We want to open up a second front, which is why you're gating in south of his position. This is your LZ. There are two Order bases at this location, and they are providing reinforcements for the Order's assault on Fort Clark. You will destroy all Order structures and then push inland. Continue north until you link up with Fletcher. Once the siege on Fort Clark has been lifted, the two of you will directly assault and destroy the Seraphim Commander. Failure is not an option, Commander. It is an option because I am playing, so that would make it an option of failure. Uh, I am doing this on normal this time. I think I did it on easy last time. I know I did all of Supreme Commander on easy, but I'm doing these on normal just to make it somewhat less entertaining. Um, because I'll probably be faffing about for hours on end on the first objective, often like I normally do. So let's do this. Let it be done, let it begin, let it happen, I guess. Let things occur, and other things. Thingsy things, things. Hopefully this frame rate holds up with the core maximizer doohicker I'm using. By the way, I'm using the core maximizer. Um, hopefully the frame rate holds up. It looks like it should. This is one of the know. two enemy bases in the area. Blow them both back to the Stone Age and then sync up with Fletcher. You do it. There's a line of enemy artillery protecting the bases. They are targets of opportunity. But if you destroy them, it'll make your life a hell of a lot easier. One thing I've noticed is that the frame rate drops deal with the primary when that little well, picture comes up. Ah, hell. Enemy gunships are inbound. It's time to get you down there while we still can. I don't know if there's a way to disable that picture, but it really kills the frame rate for some reason. Damn it, they're attacking the gate. Get on planet while you still can. Um, A on UEF, A on UEF. Oh no, what do I do? 
Uh, UEF on this mission makes it far easier because they can just build over all the destroyed buildings. By the way, nothing ties while you're selecting. Um, the only nation that gets a Tech 3 defensive structure is UEF, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they get their little Gatling cannon Tech 3 doohickey majigger deer. Um, everyone else stops at Tech 2. And yes, pew pews! Uh, infinite pew pews! Let's see. Still contemplating doing Aeon. I guess. I guess we can do it. Aeon. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, Cybern. Well, I was talking about point fence, but uh, Phantom brings up the point that the Cybern get a Tech Three uh, torpedo system, harm torpedo system, or whatever exactly it's called. I don't think the Aeon get anything, but whatever. I'm just. We're doing Aeon. Screw it. We're doing Aeon. Aeon is go. My commander is under attack already. And that seems horribly loud because everything just exploded. That was a little too close for comfort. Get it done, commander. You get it done. Okay, so I got my eyes on you, Aeon. I haven't forgotten what people did during the war. What did our people do during the war, commander? Pay him no mind, champion. Bring glory to the princess. Now, what I've actually noticed is that um, if you just idle your base here and do nothing, I, this was during one of my frame rate tests to see how well the multi core enhancer to Higgin Midjigger helps. Um, the damage shield generator shut up, will man. Help shut up. Fire. Repair it. HQ out. They still talk a lot in this. Uh, what I've noticed is that. Um, what was I saying? If you just don't do anything, you don't build anything, and you leave your base like this, it can actually defend itself uh, basically forever. I, I had it running at plus 10 speed for like an hour to test the frame rates, and it was perfectly fine when I came back. You have received the schematic for the blaze. The blaze. It's lightly armored, but it packs some impressive fire. I think the blaze is tech two. I think I could be mistaken. I believe it's a Tech 2 land unit, though, so... Now, for this mission, what you want to do is actually set your engineers to build the factories, and you want to upgrade your commander. Hello, Ivorama, how are you? I like how I'm, I'm gathering, like, a, a few dedicated people to actually watch these. I quite like that, it's cool. I got my, uh, I got my fans, I guess. I guess you could call it that. Now, you start with an actually really good base. Um, most of it's basically dead, though. But it, the layout for all of your resources for most of the beginning of this objective here is actually perfectly fine. Um, so you don't really have to worry about your, your, uh, resources until you start hitting Tech 3, essentially. Um, you'll... <laughs> good lord. <laughs> I wish I could, uh... I need to find some way to get, like, the chat into the video sometimes. Is someone trying to build that? Yes, he's trying to build that. Why is he taking so long? It's forever. Um, so he's at Tech 2 now, so what he can do is actually faff about... Um, professionally, you can professionally faff about. I think I have radar, do I? No, I don't have radar. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I have radar. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I don't want the Tech 2 shields, because Aeon cannot upgrade their shields, I'm pretty sure. Unless that was changed in Forged Alliance? Uncertain. Uh, what I do want is flak. I want more flak. I want to build flak randomly, because flak... Uh, it's very flacky. It's, it's uh, quite a professional flacker, if you will. I'm just gonna throw crap everywhere. How about that? And you want a lot of flak in this mission, relatively a lot of flak, because they like to use gunships at the beginning here. Um, Profist. Oh, chat, what have you done? What have you done? Let's see here. And I can start upgrading these factories to Tech 2. Yeah, the Blaze is the assault tank. It's basically the Aeon version of a hover tank that the UEF get. Except it's actually better, in my opinion. 
Uh, and you start with Percivals. I usually don't use them, but it is actually possible to get these Percivals up to this base up here and basically kill this entire first base. Um, if you're lucky, anyway. Uh, you two help him. No, help. An him. order commander named Gari awaits you, Jim. Gari. She is one of Evaluator Kale's most beloved disciples. Eliminate her in the name of the princess. Rise out. I also like the Aeon, uh, like, commander thing majiggers that pop up. They're not nearly as annoying as the UEF ones. The UEF ones are like, do it now every, like, three minutes. And they're kind of loud. The Aeon ones, they're, they're kind of, they're kind of passive, you know, they're just, they're just chillaxing. Doing their thing. So I don't need these engineers anymore. Upgrade that to Tech 2. And what I usually do is I set a patrol up around the base. Kind of kind of like that. That's mainly to heal crap and get rid of all of this random stuff. Um, can you get me an energy drink? You could get me an energy drink. What kind of energy drink? I don't know why you would get me a... Uh... I do set a troll up, yes. I set a, a patrol. It's a Pacific troll. It's a very, very rare type of troll. Um, let's see. Do I need to do anything else? Not right now. I just need to wait for these factories to get up and running. So I'm just going to speed it up. Most of this first part is basically sitting here waiting for your stuff to finish. I should have no trouble on defense, at least on this right hand side because of that shield. And I'll need to get a tech 3 shield over here pretty soon. Like how that one sole engineer walk walked over there? He doesn't have legs. <laughs> I'm gonna get an energy drink so I can be energy Joe. I'm actually going to adjust the sound real quick. That doesn't need to be so high. Let's do that. There we go. Is that a bit better? That's not really any better. Curse you FX. I don't know why this game does that, but the FX are way higher than they really should be. There we go. That should be manageable. Because you can hear it. I mean, this is fine. They don't. You don't need to be, like, busting your eardrums listening to the planes explode constantly in this mission. So these guys are done, which means Tech 2 engineers. And these guys are done, which means Tech 3. I don't use the air factories until I hit Tech 3, because you cannot get anything useful done until Tech 3, so... Um, what these guys are going to do... Guess what? A patrol. A patrol. A troll of pays. Um, and back to waiting. And I can start upgrading. Actually, I'm going to use a few assault tanks here. May as well show them off since they're new, and then Tech 3. And the gunships are starting to come in, which means I've already lost a thingamabobber. Whenever he feels like doing that, I guess he can get that done. And I'm gonna have engineers Excellent. all up in my base when this is done here. Fully repaired and operating at full capacity. HQ out. And there's the gunships I keep talking about. The gunships are your main threat Enemy during this mission. Operating in the channel north of your LG Mainly due commander. to the, the damage they deal. So. Until you get a shield, anyway. Once you get the shields up, you're pretty much invincible, for the most part. Um, just takes a while to get Aeon shields up. And the Aeon shields have basically no health whatsoever. Which is moderately depressing. Do that, set up that, and then just tell them to attack over there. And they'll sort it out on their own. Hopefully they don't get gunshipped on the way over. So they do. The advantage of the Aeon gun the not the Aeon gunships, the Aeon shields is that they're very, very powerful. Um, they're probably some of, if not the best shields you can use in the game. So yeah. So a few more of those. Alright, let's do one over here too. And that'll probably be all of the shields I build in this mission. At least on this base. Uh, and that shield's gone. I'm starting to think that you don't have the stomach to fight your own kind. Are you going to destroy those bases or what? I need more anti-air, as it turns out. 
Even though I have flak everywhere. How many flak do I have over here? I have four flak over there. Come on now. Four flak and a shield, and you people can't kill it? Disappointing. Uh, the problem with Forged Alliance is nukes are basically useless. Um, and I'm actually negative for once. Uh, you can build nukes, you can shoot nukes, but I'm pretty sure every base in this uh, game has anti-nuke on it. And gunships, again. Gunships. I despise gunships. Actually, you know what? I am going to need... A patrol. A patrol. Usually, that is my patrol, and I just build a few air superiority to hold off gunships and whatnot. Uh, that usually, like, maybe, you know, six or so holds it, but apparently I'm going to build twelve, so, so that should be fine. And I have been advised to nuke the anti-nukes with anti-anti-nuke nukes. That is possibly the best plan of action I have ever heard. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is that the Aeon shields are very Some small. Of those are I'm aware, HQ. Shut up. HQ out. Uh, you'll notice that the UEF shield is way, way bigger than the Aeon shield. Sadly, that doesn't really help when the shield dies to six gunships, but you know. What are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what we're going to do about it. We are going to build SAM sites out the wazoo. I think that's enough wazooing. There we go. It should be fine. How did my dudes do? They died right there, apparently. Yeah, they they died before they even did anything. Good job, me. Um, anti nukes, yes, they can keep keep up with more than one nuke launcher. Um, which is kind of silly, but one uh, one anti-nuke can hold two, sometimes three nuke launchers, depending on the nation. I think the, uh, is it Aeon or Seraphim? I think it's the Seraphim anti-nuke launcher that can keep up with a whole bunch of them, so long as it has enough anti-nukes. Um, it gets kind of ridiculous how much the Seraphim thing can do, because it's basically an artillery that shoots nukes, or shoots anti-nukes. Or shoots a shell into the nuke, how about that? Um, which essentially stops it dead in its tracks. Um, you all need to build more of these. Just a few more of those. And by a few more, I mean three. I'm contemplating selling that thing. It wouldn't cover, though. Hmm. And by selling, I mean reclaiming. that, because it's not really holding very well. I'm not particularly fond of that, and there goes my interceptors killing things. I'm not sure what those bombers are doing, other than getting killed. Um, the good thing about the Aeon interceptors in this, compared to the original, is that they can actually aim, which is a fantastic change when compared to the first one. Um, also, I think this is new, it's also fairly useless. Um, it is the shield disruptor. It's it kills shields. That's all it does. That's all it will ever do. Which means it's basically useless because you can use, for instance, Harbringers or Serenities to kill shields. Pretty much, they're a little bit slower. Actually, they're way slower at killing shields, but they can kill other things too. It's kind of you know important to be able to do that. Um, let's see. That's basically. I can't really do anything yet until I get some. Uh, transport's going, because I can't get any of my crap across the water, or at least anything useful across the water. How many levels before I can make experimentals? None. I can make experimentals right now, if I felt like it. In fact, I probably will start making czars here shortly, as well as some tempests. Because um, tempests are actually pretty good. I'll build some sub-commanders and name them after people that are watching. Because why not? Um, and speed it back up. And there's those lovely gunships. Which are no threat anymore because interceptors. And you know what I forgot to build, actually? Whatever my commander's done is I forgot to build some landing pads. 